Oh, hello. How are you all doing today? Um, I was able to figure out my cat avatar today. So I like it a lot better using this instead of a... Well, okay. Anyways, uh, I want to continue with my Bible reading. And I'm in the Holy Bible, um, the fourth gospel according to John. And I'm continuing on starting with verse 35 and it's part three and it's called it's called uh, oh one more thing I wanted to mention was if you put your head headphones on you'll be able to hear me better uh, then if you just don't have headphones hooked up you won't be able to hear me as good I I don't think on my video oh okay uh Part 3, The Son of God Manifesting His Power in Public Ministry. Jesus First Converts Again the next day, John stood and two of his disciples, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he saith, Behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and saw them following, and saith unto them, What seek ye? They said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say... Sorry, I lost my place there for a minute. They said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwell dwellest thou? He saith unto them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelt and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus, and when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. The day following, Jesus would go forth into Galilee and findeth Philip, and saith unto him, Follow me. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Peter findeth Nathanael, and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip saith unto him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him, and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael saith unto him, How knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before Philip called thee, when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathanael answered and saith unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. And he saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And, well, anyways, that ends the uh, chapter 1 uh, of the Gospel according to John. And I just love the words of Jesus our Lord God, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, and it was so neat how, I mean, it was just so awesome how he knew who Nathaniel was. I mean, he noticed him under the fig tree, but he knew who he was, and he knew he wanted him to, uh, um, I suppose he's one of his disciples, <laughs> I think. Anyways, it's kind of neat how he he knew who Nathaniel was before he even actually was introduced to him. Well, anyways, uh, I still have four minutes left on this this recording. I could go on with chapter two. Um, the first miracle at Cana, two, and the third day. There was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they lacked wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servants, Whatever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw some out now, and bear it unto the governor of the feast, and they bore it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not from where it was, but the servants who drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. After this, he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. Okay, I can end right there. Um, I just thought this was, this miracle was just, just so beautiful. And, I mean, he didn't really perform the miracle so they could have more wine to drink, not really. He did it to... So, I mean, he did it for more important reasons, um, for a more important reason, I mean, and that, well, I don't know how to explain it really. Um, well, this was the beginning of the miracles. Um, he did it to manifest his glory and, uh, and and so people would believe in him. His disciples believed on him. And I'm sure the ones who saw it it was water before wine, I'm sure they believed. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about the the people for them to believe, but I do know for the disciples believed. Um, anyways, I'm sorry, I'm not very good at explaining things. And uh, anyways, you all have a very nice day, and um, until next time, um, goodbye for now.